King News, my lovely, wonderful people. May 29, you read the ring bear. Reaction trails, photos of Yemi Osibanjo handing over documents to Kashim Shetima and things when it happen afterwards. <clears throat> I think they shock everybody as Nigerians. They watch, they see how things they happen. I can assure you for free that this is not really, you know, this is not really normal and this is not right. There are so many issues going on right now and we just want you to understand that some persons are doing all they can, possibly can, to ensure that they you know take over the affairs of the country whether legitimate or illegitimately in any way humanly speaking possible now so see banjo called the handover document of vice presidential uh position and uh which he's supposed to do and everything to um <clears throat> the incoming vice presidential uh candidate of the all progressive congress where they call president vice president elect it is no longer news that Nigerians are counting down to the inauguration of the new administration that will take over power from the outgoing administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. It will be recalled that Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu won the controversial 2023 presidential election that was conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The former Lagos state governor reportedly defeated Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and Peter Ubi of the Labour Party, who are currently now in court challenging the result. It will also be recorded that the outcome of the election is being challenged at the presidential election petition tribunal sitting in Abuja. Both Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi are asking the court to turn the victory of Tinubu and declare them winners instead. Meanwhile, ahead of the handover date, the photo of Kashin Shatima receiving some documents from the outgoing vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, has been attracting reactions with Nigerians saying, Una wow, this thing, a wow. Somebody said, I don't fancy anything about Osibanjo. What is he handing over? He should tell us the truth. And that one said, God, you know your people, you know, say we want the best to help us. Somebody has said it is not easy for commissioner to governor, to senate, to senate, to senator, to vice president, from vice president, who know only God go reveal the next step. So these are some of the things that are going on and we are watching and seeing. Nigerians have been reacting and asking why this handover is being, uh, is being pushed, knowing fully well that everyone is waiting patiently for the outcome of the presidential election uh, tribunal instead of waiting all the way. Why not allow this thing to be done decently and in order concluded before they go ahead to, to uh, you know, talk about any inauguration? What will it cost to spend two more weeks in office, you know, and all that? He said, no, this is not acceptable and we will not allow it to happen. So when you look at everything, you can see for yourself, you can see for a fact that things are no longer, you know, the way they used to be. And we just want this whole thing to be done decently and in order. Nigerians, it is important that we understand exactly what is going on here. So we can see for ourselves and we can see that it is it is important that we, you know, we know those who really wants to be our leader. We know those who really, you know, we, 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 we want we want to be, you know, to govern us. This nation with all that is happening, with all that is going on, it is important that we move, you know, and we wait, we are wait patiently, you know, we move in terms of prayer. You know, for us to, if, because if they have won, by all means, please, they should lead the country. If they have won, they should lead Nigeria. But if not, if somebody else's mandate is being overturned, because some people want to, to you know, to ensure that they are the ones who is taking over, it is not acceptable. No, not acceptable. You'll be surprised and shocked that such things are happening. You'll be surprised and shocked. You know, so what we want to see is for Nigeria to become a better place every day, every time. Okay, we want Nigeria to be the nation that we all so truly, sincerely desire. What's happening now is all a clear indication that the ball is already rolling. And we want this nation to be a better place. 
okay not just for some people but for each and every one of us and so it is high time we begin to put things in place and ensure that at the end of the day nigeria becomes a better nation let's do all we possibly can as a nation and as a people if not prayer you feel pray if not prayer reach you pray if not talk you feel talk talk so that you could see things clearly for yourself you see and so so this nation as you they see things so now they happen no? Uh -huh. Vice President and that Vice President that they, that they prepare to hand over. And so what happens next? What goes on from here? Prepare your heart and your mind. Uh, the flight is about to take off. Uh, wear your seatbelt. Uh, be ready. This is pilot uh, 342123. And we're about to take off from the East Coast from the... Uh -huh. You know, Anna, you know, that play, you know, say, <laughs> you know, something that happen, no? So now, so the uh -huh. preparation don't be on ground. As all of us, they watch patiently to see how, you know, Nigeria is going to be in the next couple of years. Okay, we're going to be seeing how things will turn. And we hope to God that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the court proceedings, you know, will hear exactly what the truth should be. So the day they do preparation, you know, it's called handover and things are already, you know, looking up. The day they prepare, the day they wrap up, the day they say, okay, may we... Put things in place. So Nigerians now so it be all in all past like that. So every single person need to know say the nation now our nation and uh, what we they see so now part of the whole activities to make sure say we not get saved. But we go quiet like that. I believe say the answer now no. We don't go just quiet, fold our arm, pretend and say all is well. Yes, we get opportunity now to make a difference, but we got to make it together. You see, eh, when people say maybe they work together, no me say the person don't know what did they do. Working together means say we put in more strength. So we get to wait patiently for this court injunction to know our president be because many matter do come out of the thing say well say you not be president now you be president say no na me we say na you na you we no wala the thing say which people they say me we pray now because this court we they see so eh so they put their pocket deep where we deep oh so they feel brain so thick off inside the pocket we say feel surprise the the people now because say na you we na you we at the end of the day Nigeria is now call now we call suffer for her okay. So please, eh, eh, please don't forget, eh, you day important. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Have a good day. Bye bye.